Okay, guys, um, we're going to take a look at this assignment that you just received for the January transactions and bank statement, uh, this Google Sheets assignment. I'm going to click on it to open it. And then when I get here, it says in the instructions that we're going to open uh, the Google Sheet. It's called Check Register. So to open that sheet up, we're going to go to the Add or Create. So it puts it right as a part of this assignment, and you'll never have to attach it again. So here we go. I go to my Google Drive. And in my Google Drive, I go to My Drive. Within My Drive, you're going to find your Classroom uh, folder. And in your Classroom folder, uh, this is all the folders or all the classes that you have Google Classrooms for. And I'm going to do the A2 Intro to Computer and open that up. Uh, inside there, the Google Sheets folder is where I should find this check register that I created uh, in a previous assignment. All right, so that's going to attach here. Now that it's attached, I'm going to go ahead and click on that to open up this check register. And after this check register opens up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it a separate window by clicking on the tab here and dragging down and letting go. So now it's its own window that I'm going to separate onto half the screen by using the windows and the side arrow to the right. So windows, side arrow to the right. And then to figure out which other window I want, I'm just going to click on the one here where my Google Classroom is at. And on that particular window, I'm going to open up this uh, transactions file. Now, these represent all the transactions that you made throughout the month of January. So you paid a, a rent check here of $600, a cash withdrawal out of an ATM. Uh, you got your paycheck. Woohoo, yay, paycheck. I uh, got the paycheck there on the 6th. So these are the transactions throughout the month. And what we need to do with those is put those in over here. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out to 90% so I can see my balance over there. And here we go. Check 101. I'm going to tab. It was done on the 2nd of January. The James Properties Incorporated. And that is my rent. I'm going to tab over for 600. Now by hitting the tab key, now when I hit enter, it, it moves me back to the next line in the first cell. Uh, there's no check number for that second line. The second line here on the sixth is a cash withdrawal. So here we go, one dash six. So basically we're just going ahead and put all these um, transactions into our check register. In real life, you would be doing this day by day as you actually made the transactions. They would go into your check register, um, and then as you put them into the check register, you would enter in the amounts, and then over here you would be calculating your balance, which this formula is doing, which right now we're not in very good shape because we're at negative $450. Um, to speed this process up, what I'm going to do uh, for the video's sake you're going to have to type those all in. I'm going to highlight two rows because that's how the pattern of white and gray repeat. And I'm going to use my auto fill handle here and auto fill these down a ways longer so I have enough space to get the entire month of January put into my check register. Now, I sped the process up a little bit by just simply uh, putting those in here uh, quickly fast forward the video a little bit for you and now that you have all your transactions in you should see here that um, you've got your paychecks are in the, the credit column okay the credits add to your account uh, everything else was an expense which is in the debits column so those are all subtracting money out of your bank account uh, and here at the end of January according to my records I've got it's showing that I've got um, $30.91 left over at the end of the month. So uh, that's the end of putting the transactions in. Now what happens at the end of a month or some point during the month, you'll receive a statement from your bank. And that's what this file is, is the bank statement. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cross-reference what we have with what the bank has. Well, the bank statement, as you can see here, uh, it says that the closing, and I'll go ahead and make this a bit larger, the closing was on January 19th, so these transactions for this particular bank statement 
uh, only ran from probably the date the account opened on December 28th all the way through January 19th. So that's not the entire month, but that's how many transactions we have to look at. So we're going to check out what the bank has to say. I'm going to use my windows and side arrow to the left so I can see both of these again. And basically what you do is just check things off. The opening balance was $250. It says here on January 6th, there was a withdrawal from the ATM of $150. So here we go. On the 6th, ATM $150, I check that off. Basically that's saying that's a transaction that the bank cleared. Uh, there was a deposit from Erie Insurance, that's apparently where I work, um, and the deposit was $1,076.92. I check that off. And as you're doing this, you should be checking these numbers to make sure they're correct, because from time to time, as you put numbers in, you may transpose the number wrong or mistakenly put something in there wrong. So make sure that you're getting them correct. On the 10th, it, it cleared check 101, $600. Well, here's check 101 uh, for $600. And as you can see, the bank doesn't always clear things in the same order that you actually do them in your account. You never know how long somebody's going to take to cash the check that you've written. So I go to January 13th here, an ATM of 150. So January 13th, ATM. Those are typically probably going to be on the date or close to the date that you did them. Uh, there was a withdrawal of $100 also on the 13th. So on the 13th, I withdrew some money out of my account, $100. And the final transaction here for January shows check 103 for 122.35. So check 103 got cleared, which is right here. The amount is correct. So basically that's what you do each month is you just check off to make sure that the numbers that the bank has is the same thing that you have. And then you need to balance your account. It says here that my ending balance is $229.57. Well, right here, it says after that transaction, I've only got $99. But the deal is you've got transactions here that haven't been cleared by the bank. So we're going to talk about now what to do with that. Uh, what we're going to do to uh, figure out to make sure my, my bank account is, is uh, balanced or my check register is balanced with what the bank states, I'm going to go in this cell right beside the last transaction that I checked. And I'm going to type a formula. This should equal whatever my balance is. And now this is money that's in the debit column that I have subtracted out of my account. But the bank hasn't subtracted it yet because it hasn't cleared. So since they haven't subtracted it, to get the bank's balance, I'm going to go ahead and add any of these debits back in. So I'm going to add the debit here from cell. Uh, D6, and I'm just going to click on D6. I'm going to use my plus sign and move my mouse. And another transaction that didn't clear here is for $55.25 for cellular one. And since that's another debit or subtraction, the bank hasn't subtracted it, so I need to add it back in. So I'm going to click on that cell. So this formula is going to take my balance I have plus any of the debits that the bank has not cleared yet. And when I am done, that number is the $229.57. And as I move that back over, $229.57 is a good number because that is the exact number that the bank has my ending balance being. So basically that means at this point I have a balanced checkbook, which means I agree with the bank on how much money should be in my account right now. I'm just going to highlight that uh, color here, a little bit too dark maybe, and just showing that, yep, at that point, we were balanced uh, with the $229.57 for the month of January. All right, so guys, that's all you're going to have to do. Uh, you put your transactions in, you balance it by checking off the transactions the banks has in the bank statement, and then you do your formula here uh, where you take your balance and, and add any of the debits that haven't been cleared to your balance to figure out your, uh, your, your statement to make sure you agree with what the bank's numbers are. So anyway, that being said, uh, that's it for today. You're going to go ahead and do that and get that turned in on Google Classroom. So close this out back here. And then remember, guys, to turn it in. 
you've already attached this so all you have to do is click turn in and then turn in one more time and that check register with that updated information will be in Google Classroom for me to check. So have a great day and good luck with your January transactions.